the Leaning Tower of Pisa or simply the Tower of Pisa is the Campanile, or freestanding bell tower, of the Cathedral of the Italian city of Pisa, known worldwide for its unintended tilt to one side. It is situated behind the cathedral and is the third oldest structure in Pisa's cathedral square after the cathedral and the baptistry. The tower's tilt began during construction, caused by an inadequate foundation on ground too soft on one side to properly support the structure's weight. The tilt increased in the decades before the structure was completed, and gradually increased until the structure was stabilized by efforts in the late 20th and early 21st centuries. The height of the tower is 55.86 meters from the ground on the low side and 56.67 meters on the high side. The width of the walls at the base is 2.44 am. Its weight is estimated at 14,500 metric tons. The tower has 296 or 294 steps. The seventh floor has two fewer steps on the north-facing staircase. Prior to restoration work performed between 1990 and 2001, the tower leaned at an angle of 5.5 degrees, but the tower now leans at about 3.99 degrees. This means that the top of the tower is displaced horizontally 3.9 meters from where it would be if the structure were perfectly vertical. Architect, there has been controversy about the real identity of the architect of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. For many years, the design was attributed to Guglielmo and Bernano Pisano, a well-known 12th-century resident artist of Pisa, famous for his bronze casting, particularly in the Pisa Duomo. Bernano Pisano left Pisa in 1185 for Monreale, Sicily, only to come back and die in his hometown. A piece of cast with his name was discovered at the foot of the tower in 1820, but this may be related to the bronze door in the four-section aid of the cathedral that was destroyed in 1595. However, recent studies seem to indicate Diotti Solvi as the original architect due to the time of construction and affinity with other Diotti Solvi works, notably the bell tower of San Nicola and the baptistry, both in Pisa. However, he usually signed his works and there is no signature by him in the bell tower which leads to further speculation. Construction Construction of the tower occurred in three stages across 199 years. Work on the ground floor of the white marble Campanile began on August 14, 1173, during a period of military success and prosperity. This ground floor is a blind arcade articulated by engaged columns with classical Corinthian capitals. The tower began to sink after construction had progressed to the second floor in 1178. This was due to a mere three-meter foundation, set in weak, unstable subsoil, a design that was flawed from the beginning. Construction was subsequently halted for almost a century, because the Republic of Pisa was almost continually engaged in battles with Genoa, Lucca, and Florence. This allowed time for the underlying soil to settle. Otherwise, the tower would almost certainly have toppled. In 1198 clocks were temporarily installed on the third floor of the unfinished construction. In 1272 construction resumed under Giovanni di Simone, architect of the Campo Santo. In an effort to compensate for the tilt, the engineers built upper floors with one side taller than the other. Because of this, the tower is actually curved. Construction was halted again in 1284, when the Pisans were defeated by the Gnomes in the Battle of Maloria. The seventh floor was completed in 1319. It was built by Tommaso di Andrea Pisano, who succeeded in harmonizing the Gothic elements of the bell chamber with the Romanesque style of the tower. There are seven bells, one for each note of the musical major scale. The largest one was installed in 1655. The bell chamber was finally added in 1372. After a phase of structural strengthening, the tower is currently undergoing gradual surface restoration, in order to repair visible damage, mostly corrosion and blackening. These are particularly pronounced due to the tower's age and its exposure to wind and rain. Timeline On January 5, 1172, Donna Berta di Bernardo, a widow and resident of the House of dell'Opera di Santa Maria, bequeathed 60 soldi to the opera Campanilis Patrarum Sanct Marie. The sum was then used towards the purchase of a few stones which still form the base of the bell tower. On August 9, 1173, the foundations of the tower were laid. 
Nearly four centuries later Giorgio Vasari wrote, Guglielmo, according to what is being said, in, this year 1174 with Bernano as sculptor, laid the foundations of the bell tower of the cathedral in Pisa. Giorgio Vasari indicates that Tommaso di Andrea Pisano was the designer of the belfry between 1360 and 1370. On December 27, 1233, the work of Beninato, son of Gerardo Bottasai, oversaw the continuation of the construction of the bell tower. On February 23, 1260, Guido Spiziale, son of Giovanni, a worker on the Cathedral Santa Maria Maggiore, was elected to oversee the building of the tower. On April 12, 1264, the master builder Giovanni di Simone and 23 workers went to the mountains close to Pisa to cut marble. The cut stones were given to Reinaldo Spiziel, worker of St. Francesco. Builders, one possible builder is Gerardo di Gerardo. His name appears as a witness to the above legacy of Berta di Bernardo as Master Gerardo, and is a worker whose name was Gerardo. A more probable builder is Diotti Solvi, because of the construction period and the structure's affinities with other buildings in Pisa, but he usually signed his works, and there is no signature by him in the bell tower. Giovanni di Simone was heavily involved in the completion of the tower, under the direction of Giovanni Pisano, who at the time was master builder of the opera di Santa Maria Maggiore. He could be the same Giovanni Pisano who completed the belfry tower. History following construction Galileo Galilei is said to have dropped two cannonballs of different masses from the tower to demonstrate that their speed of descent was independent of their mass. However, this is considered an apocryphal tale, its only source being Galileo's secretary. During World War II, the Allies discovered that the Germans were using the tower as an observation post. A U.S. Army sergeant sent to confirm the presence of German troops in the tower was impressed by the beauty of the cathedral and its campanile and thus refrained from ordering an artillery strike, sparing it from destruction. On February 27, 1964, the government of Italy requested aid in preventing the tower from toppling. It was, however, considered important to retain the current tilt, due to the role that this element played in promoting the tourism industry of Pisa. A multinational task force of engineers, mathematicians, and historians gathered on the Azores Islands to discuss stabilization methods. It was found that the tilt was increasing in combination with the softer foundations on the lower side. Many methods were proposed to stabilize the tower, including the addition of 800 tons of lead counterweights to the raised end of the base. In 1987 the tower was declared as part of the Piazza del Duomo UNESCO World Heritage Site along with the neighboring cathedral, Baptistry and Cemetery. On January 7, 1990, after over two decades of stabilization studies, and spurred by the abrupt collapse of the Civic Tower of Pavia in 1989, the tower was closed to the public. The bells were removed to relieve some weight, and cables were cinched around the third level and anchored several hundred meters away. Apartments and houses in the path of the tower were vacated for safety. The final solution to prevent the collapse of the tower was to slightly straighten the tower to a safer angle, by removing 38 cubic meters of soil from underneath the raised end. The tower was straightened by 45 centimeters, returning to its 1838 position. After a decade of corrective reconstruction and stabilization efforts, the tower was reopened to the public on December 15, 2001, and was declared stable for at least another 300 years. In May 2008, after the removal of another 70 metric tons of ground, engineers announced that the tower had been stabilized such that it had stopped moving for the first time in its history. They stated it would be stable for at least 200 years. Alternative candidates Two German churches have challenged the tower's status as the world's most lopsided building, the 15th century square leaning tower of Soyuhusen and the 14th century bell tower in the town of Bad Frankenhausen. Guinness World Records measured the Pisa and Soyuhusen towers, finding the former's tilt to be 3.97 degrees. In June 2010, Guinness World Records certified the Capitol Gate building in Abu Dhabi, UAE as the world's furthest leaning man-made tower. The Capitol Gate tower has an 18-degree slope, almost five times more than the Pisa Tower. 
however the Capitol Gate Tower has been deliberately engineered to slant. The Leaning Tower of Wanaka in New Zealand, also deliberately built, leans at 53 degrees to the ground. Technical Information Elevation of Piazza del Duomo, about 2 meters, height from the ground floor, 55.863 meters, 8 stories, height from the foundation floor, 58.36 am, outer diameter of base, 15.484 meters, inner diameter of base, 7.368 meters, angle of slant, 3.97 degrees or 3.9 meters from the vertical, weight. 14,700 metric tons, thickness of walls at the base, 2.44 meters, total number of bells, 7, tuned to musical scale, clockwise, first bell. La Santa, cast in 1654 by Giovanni Pietro Orlandi, weight 3,620 kg, second bell, Il Crocifisso, cast in 1572 by Vincenzo Possenti. Weight 2,462 kg, third bell, San Ranieri, cast in 1719 a Euro 1721 by Giovanni Andrea Marini, weight 1,448 kg, fourth bell, La Tata, cast in 1473, weight 300 kg, fifth bell, La Pascaraxia or La Gostasia, cast in 1262 by Lotteringo, weight 1,014 kg, sixth bell. Il Vespruxio, cast in the 14th century and again in 1501 by Nicola di Jacopo, weight 1000 kg, 7th bell, Dal Pozzo, cast in 1606 and again in 2004, weight 652 kg. Number of steps to the top, 296, about the 5th bell, the name Pascoroxia comes from Easter, because it used to ring on Easter Day. However, this bell is older than the bell chamber itself, and comes from the Tower Vergata in Palazzo Pretorio in Pisa, where it was called La Gostasia. The bell was told to announce executions of criminals and traitors, including Count Ugolino in 1289. A new bell was installed in the bell tower at the end of the 18th century to replace the broken Pasquaroxia. Gallery. See also, List of Leaning Towers, Round Tower, for other types of round towers, Leaning Tower of Niles, a replica of the Tower of Pisa, Tor del Milizzi, a tilting medieval tower in Rome, Machang, Kelantana Euro home to another Leaning Tower, Leaning Temple of Humor a Euro only Leaning Temple in the world, the Grey Friars Tower a Euro the remains of a Franciscan monastery in King's Lynn. It is also Leaning and is consequently nicknamed the Leaning Tower of Lynn in reference to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Tour de Pies, a rock dome in Antarctica, was named after this tower. References External links Opera della Primazia Pisana a Euro official site, Piazza dei Miracoli Digital Media Archive, data from a University of Ferrara CARC Research Partnership, includes 3D scan data from Leaning Tower. Leaning Tower of Pisa at Strukturi.